Fitch ratings, structured finance, and cover bond ratings have minimal direct exposure to the fallout from the Russia-Ukraine war because we do not rate any transactions in either country, but downside risks have increased. We have examined an adverse case that has a more severe economic impact than the scenario that we think is most likely. These first graphs show the distribution of asset performance risk scores for structured finance subsectors and covered bonds within each region and within each asset class. Asset performance in over 90% of subsectors globally is expected to show virtually no impact or a mild to modest impact under the adverse case. We have applied a medium to high asset performance impact for aircraft ABS and European SME CLOs. Aircraft ABS, which is under global cross-sector in the graph on the left, will be most affected due to planes in Russia or Ukraine forming part of the collateral. European SME CLOs are more vulnerable due to their lower capacity to pass on input costs. These next graphs show the distribution of ratings risk scores for each region and asset class. Almost all asset classes globally would be expected to experience virtually no impact or a mild to modest rating impact under the adverse case. Mild to modest impact indicates that there could be some rating outlook revisions, but no changes to ratings. The expected resiliency of most structured finance ratings under the adverse case reflects strong credit protection buffers and ratings headroom from better than expected performance through the pandemic. Only aircraft ABS related ratings are at risk for downgrades and we recently placed ratings from 14 aircraft ABS transactions on watch negative. The key takeaway is that globally, structured finance and cover bond ratings have limited direct exposure to the Russia-Ukraine war and outside a small number of subsectors are generally well positioned for increased risks.